Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of the Bobby Bones Show. We're so honored to have back on the show, and we're on location at Gruen Guitars with the founder of Gruen Guitars in Nashville, George Gruen. George, it's fun to have you back on the show, especially when we're talking about the launch of your own brand of guitars. Well, this is something I've wanted to do for many years, not only to design guitars, but to actually own the factory that makes them, because that way I can do exactly as I want them to be. And if there's any quality control problem I know who to look at, I can find them in the mirror. But the point is, I've never had the ability to design and almost immediately put the ideas into effect. Wow. So this is a real fun project. There's a number of different features about this guitar that you come up with, including the sound hole in the upper bout and also in the way that you're attaching the neck. Well, there's many things about it that might be found on some other guitar, but not in this combination. Mm -hmm. This is the only guitar on the market today that you can essentially look at from 100 feet away at a glance and know immediately which brand of acoustic guitar it is. Why, why now? Why, do you, why did now feel like the right time for your own guitars? It was a just coming together of the right people, the right circumstances at the right time. I am a designer, in effect, like the architect. Mm -hmm. I'm the guitar architect. <laughs> well, the guitar architect may not be the best builder, and I don't know how to run a factory. Mm -hmm. I've been to factories, I know a lot about them. Right. But that doesn't mean I can be here at this shop mm -hmm. and running a factory. And frankly, managing a factory and training workers, hiring workers, the day-to-day -day of running a factory, that's not what I'm good at. It's like a great architect, like Frank Lloyd Wright, right. designed buildings, mm -hmm. but he didn't build them. No. He designed them. He got contractors mm -hmm. to do his designs. With these new versatars, the, the Gruen Guitars versatars, that all of them have electronics in them also. Oh, you they don't get, all. They don't? It's okay. an option. It's a $150 option. And uh, that's if we put the LR Bags Hi-Fi system, which this one has. Mm -hmm. But they're available acoustic or set up electric. And they're available in a wide variety of different types of wood. So the basic model uh, is about $2,450 with a heavy-duty gig bag uh, with either cedar, western cedar like this, mm -hmm. or Adirondack spruce and mahogany, or uh, you can get mahogany, you can get walnut, you can get ash. Uh, we get some that are black locust. This is a local oh, wood that's so often used for firewood or fence posts. It's beautiful. But if you pick up a piece of this wood and hit it with a mallet holding it up, it'll ring like a bell, <laughs> almost like a xylophone bar. So it's good for a lot more than firewood or fence posts. It's really good stuff. There's amazing varieties. But this guitar here wow, is that. Nicaraguan rosewood, which is, this is an added cost feature. But the base price is $2,450. But something and how like, many models do you think you'll be offering also, George? Well, I mean, besides basically, the six string, it's yeah, one yeah. basic model right mm -hmm. here with a wide variety of wood. So this is ebony fingerboard and bridge. This is a western cedar top. It is cocobolo wood bindings, mm. Nicaraguan rosewood back and sides. But then over here, we have black locust for fingerboard back mm. and sides. Adirondack spruce for the top, white holly mm. for the bridge. The wood is as white as ivory on that it bridge. Is. How it's, does it feel now to, to see guitars, and obviously with, with a guitar shop full of incredible instruments, but now when you walk in and you see Gruen Versatar on the headstock? Well, my goal was to do a guitar that had a reason to exist. In other words, the world did not need a clone of others. Mm -hmm. This does things that are different. Now, a standard guitar with a round hole here 
like a Martin, is a very good guitar, but it, this does some things, you can play Chuck Berry tunes on this. You can do heavy metal shredding on this. You can if you know how, I, I don't do that. But the point is, you can do almost any kind of music, so this does things that they don't and can't do. Mm -hmm. Back in the day too, with the Tacoma Chieftain that you designed, uh, obviously Peter Frampton and Gordon Kennedy and a number of other players were big fans of those and still yeah. play some of those models. But this is a better sounding, more evolved design. But with, instead of all those 10 braces, mm -hmm. we can put a bass bar and a treble bar and a bridge plate and it has two braces and it has longitudinal strength. See the other system through here, mm -hmm. you get bracing there and you get bracing there and it gives you strength horizontally, but right. longitudinally, it doesn't have any brace that goes to keep it from doing that. Because it doesn't this, need it. It's not weakened with these This center doesn't center. need any more. Well, I've got to ask you then, George, then where will the guitars be available? I mean, well, right have now they're available here. Right. And they're available online. If it gets to the point where they're making them faster than I can sell them, then we can open up a dealer network. Mm -hmm. But right now they're selling as fast as we can make them. That's a good problem. That, yeah, there are other problems that could be worse. So what's the difference in how you're attaching the necks on the Gruen guitars compared to like a Fender or something else, George? Or even, you know, some acoustics where they're glued in with a dovetail. Yeah. Well, there's, this is obviously something very different. It's fastened with two furniture bolts that go into threaded metal fixtures in the neck. Ah. So unlike a wood screw where most makers who have a bolt on, they call it a bolt on, but it's really a screw on, it's not the same. Mm -hmm. A wood screw, you drill a small guide hole and then you screw it in and it cuts its own threads into the wood and it grips. Mm -hmm. But if you take it out and then put it back even once, it's cutting new threads, right. and if you do it three or four times, it won't hold anymore mm -hmm. because it's already chewed out the hole. Mm -hmm. This system, the bolts are stronger than a screw. They're bigger and stronger, and they go into a threaded metal fixture, so you can take it in and out a hundred times, and it won't strip. I, I'm impressed with the innovations. I wanted to bring up two, obviously your books, have been uh, used by so many of us, uh, you know, myself included, on identifying guitars and everything like that. Do you think at a point there's going to have to be a memoir book that you write about George Gruen? You're still involved with vintage guitar and so many magazines and writing columns. But well, I have some ideas about working on a book, and it's about more than just guitars. Mm -hmm. uh, I have concerns about the world we live in, and. A lot of things have happened since I was born. It's getting to the point where, you know, all of those things together, mm -hmm. if we don't fix that, it's going to screw up the guitar market. <laughs> so it's true. very important to fix it. Yes, it is. And, and thankfully, you've helped fix it with a new model also. Well, I'm not claiming that this model saves the world. Yet. But it does come out with some truly new sounds mm -hmm. that are useful because being different is not in itself always useful. Right. And being loud is not in its sense, it's, there's more to it, it has to be loud but with tone. Mm -hmm. Hand grenades are loud but they don't, they don't have good tone. <laughs> no tone. So uh, this guitar has, in my opinion, exceptionally fine tone, but what I listen for is balance of volume, balance of sustain, balance of dynamic range, balance of harmonic complexity. Every note has harmonic frequencies above and below the dominant note, and that's what gives it tonal character. Right. That's why you can tell the difference between a clarinet and an oboe. They're exactly the same pitch. You can play the exact same piece of music, every note the same on the page, but you can tell which one it is because it's not the same mm -hmm. in the frequencies of the harmonics. And same like a violin and a viola, Three of the four strings are tuned the same, but you can play a passage on just the three strings and you can instantly tell which so is different. which. And the other thing I'm listening for is balance of clarity of articulation. Some notes on a lot of guitars are just stumpy. See, this note, every note has clarity. 
you can take a note and you can make it fuzzy just by hitting the palm of your hand yeah, on the strings. Palm, you can do a lot of tonal variation, but if it's fuzzy to begin with, you can't clean it up. No, you can't. This guitar does all of those things. Well, I'll tell you what, congratulations on, uh, on your own Groom Guitars Versatar, even with your new logo on here. Uh, I think it's going to be successful. You've got your own factory now, so besides having an incredible, uh, you know, guitar shop here in Nashville with, with Gruen's music, you know, now you also have Gruen Guitars Versatar. Yeah. We're very pleased with them, but I, you know, we have a wide variety of guitars, and um, it's a rare thing that one guitar can do everything. This guitar can do darn near everything an acoustic does, but there are still things about the Martins and Gibsons that they have a distinctive voice. I'm not trying to hurt the sales of anybody else's guitar or take over, but you can literally own a hundred guitars and not have one that sounds or looks like this. Mm -hmm. Now, look alone is not important unless it sounds different and sounds good. Mm -hmm. This is a versatile instrument that can do things that are distinctly different. So no matter how many guitars you own, you might want this because it fills a market niche that they're not in. It can, in a recording studio, this has sounds or on stage or through the pickup. It is useful sounds that do good things. So that is important, but it's still, it's useful and I, people often ask me, if you had only one guitar, what would you pick? Mm -hmm. And I really wouldn't be very happy having to pick only one. I might pick this, but when it comes right down to it, my standard answer is, no one guitar can do everything, Agreed. which is why there's so many different kinds of guitars. Mm -hmm. I have one wife, but I prefer a harem of guitars. <laughs> and the guitars don't fight with each other. There's no legal problems with owning more than one. <laughs> if you decide to sell one, you don't have to buy it a new house right. or anything of the sort. And you always need one more guitar, George. All of us do. You need this one. Exactly. Well, congratulations, George Gruen. Thank you so much for coming on the show and talking with us about your brand new guitar line. You've got your own factory, George Gruen Guitars. This is the Versatar. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Sponsored by The Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of the Bobby Bones Show.